In this video, we will demonstrate the Tangible Geospace application running on the Metadesk system. Tangible Geospace is an interaction with geographical space driven by physical objects. By picking up a physical icon, or FICON, representing the Great Dome of MIT and setting it onto the surface of the desk, a map of MIT appears in two dimensions, bound to the location of the Great Dome. By moving the model of the Great Dome on the desk, we are able to move the map to which it is bound through manipulation of the physical object. In addition to the 2D map, a 3D model of campus is visible through the active lens, an R-mounted flat panel display, which serves as a physical instantiation of the windows metaphor. By moving the active lens above the desk, we are able to interactively navigate the three-dimensional model of campus. By putting a second building FICON onto the desk, we now have two physical handles into the MIT map, thus giving us the ability to scale or to rotate the campus map by moving these two objects together in parallel. Another device we use in the MetaDesk system is the passive lens. The passive lens is a piece of flat glass, but becomes an interesting display device when we put it on the back projected surface of the MetaDesk. With the passive lens on the desk, we are now able to use it as a sort of window, letting us see another layer of information in the tangible geospace application. With two FICON objects on the desk, there are some issues of ambiguity that must be resolved. For instance, when we rotate both FICONs together, how should the application respond? One way we have worked to resolve this ambiguity is through objects like this scaling constraint instrument. Here, we provide a distinct axis of scaling, as well as a separate axis of rotation. By building in these physical constraints, we resolve the question of ambiguity in this case. In this video, we have presented the tangible geospace prototype running on the MetaDesk platform, an example user interface driven by physical objects on an interactive surface. In this manner, we are attempting to change the painted bits of graphical user interfaces into tangible bits by taking advantage of multiple senses and the multimodality of human interactions with the real world.